Hey, what's up? So, just a quick intro. This video follows the building of the fireplace. This fireplace, from start to finish. Um, with some time lapse, with some regular video. At the end, I go over the process, the company that I bought it from, um, what I liked, what I didn't, um, what I'd do differently. But it was a great build, lots of fun. This video's pretty fun. Um, so stick around. Like I said, at the end, there's a lot of good information. Um, yeah, so let's get started. So last winter, we decided to put in a pool. We've got four kids, and they love the water, and yeah, it seemed like a good idea. So the last video we did showed that whole process, and here's the finished product. And now we're looking at um, is doing a fireplace, probably in this area here. Um, we'd like to do an outdoor fireplace. So I had um, several companies come and quote, and the quotes were ridiculous: ten, twelve, fifteen thousand dollars for a fireplace. So I went online, did some digging, found this company called Roman Stone. Um, this here, in the background. Roman Stone. I'll put the link in the description down below. And um, seems like a really, really good company. Did a lot of research, and I can do a full fireplace. Uh, so I'll put the kind of what I want it to look like. Flash it up now. And yeah, so full fireplace, fireboxes on the side um, for right at $5,000. This company is cool because what they do, it's manufactured stone. What they do is they make the stone, ship it right to your door on pallets. You can see the pallets here. And um, you put it together. They send you all the chemicals, not uh, chemicals. They send you all the materials that you need. Um, and it's like a, I'm an engineer. It's like a big toy set put it together so I think it was gonna be fun all the reviews I've read said the hardest part about this project is literally getting the stones from the front of the house to the back of the house and that's what I'm doing today um, but it is kind of cool they send you really detailed instructions I'll show you an example here um, layer by layer of this fireplace how to put it together all the adhesive that you need uh, they even have videos tutorial videos on their website um, I'll put a link here um, but anyway, so I'm going to try to time lapse this whole process. Today we're going to do the moving, the hard part, moving the stones from the front to the back. All right, here we go.
So, whew, that was tough. Hard part's over with. Got all our blocks moved. Everything is ready to get started. Um, it's a week later. Friday morning, took the day off work. We're going to put this thing together. So, instructions state to put your base layer down. So I've already done that. There's my base layer. Um, they're very adamant about this being perfectly square and level. So I took some time. I had to shim the right side blocks a little bit because the there's a little slope on the pavers on the patio but it looks pretty good here are the tools this is the cool thing about this kit these are all the tools you need so we've got our just a regular t-square keep everything nice and square dead blow hammer to beat the blocks into submission we got a little brush so we can brush all the dust off before we glue um, our four foot level got a little torpedo level to check individual blocks got our caulk gun our adhesive um, it's definitely not the adhesive, but they sent me a bunch. That's not all the adhesive. They sent me a bunch, so I'm not too worried about it. And I got my coffee. So I feel like I got the important things. Um, here's our block. Here's our base. Hopefully today, it's going to be a chimney. Um, got our setup. So I'll have two cameras going. Um, give two different views. So we got camera one, camera two, or camera one, camera two. All right, so we'll start the time lapse and hopefully we can, a uh, couple hours, or at least by tomorrow evening, have this thing done. All right, here we go. So, uh, as you can see, it's kind of dark now. Uh, a buddy of mine called, wanted to go play golf, so I went and played golf. Took a little break, a big break. Um, but a couple hours in, I feel like we've made some good progress. Um, things are going well so far. I feel like blocks are consistently sized, which makes spacing easy. Um, we're just not getting into it. We're gonna start doing the fire brick here in a minute. Um, but yeah, I'm pleased so far. Pleased. But uh, getting back to it, uh, put in a couple, couple more hours. And um, yeah, it's been fun so far. Let's 
keep going.
Oh, hey, um, we're doing the fire break now. I had to cut a little bit. The sizes weren't exactly right, but um, it seems to be going together fine now. So, but I don't really like people looking over my shoulder while I'm working. So if y'all could check out, that'd be great. Thanks. Time for the fireside chat. Um, just wanted to go over a few things, what I liked, what I didn't, what I do different, maybe some hints. Um, just to help you guys out a little bit in case you were wanting to do the project or um, yeah, just to give you as much information as I can. Um, we'll start at the beginning, we'll go through this really quick. Starting with the website. As I talked about earlier, the website's really good. You can configure your own uh, fireplace how you want it. <clears throat> There's lots of other stuff on the website. Lots of other hardscape stuff too that um, looks really good. Website's easy to use. Ordering is easy. Um, if you have questions, you can call them. Um, they're quick to respond on email. They uh, answer phone calls quickly. Um, great to deal with on the phone and get back to you quickly. Um, also, the testimonials on the website are a great source of information. Uh, people tell their stories, post pictures. Um, so it's, I think it's under the frequently asked questions. Uh, testimonials so take a look at those um, took about two weeks for me to get uh, my uh, fireplace like I said it came on pallets um, after I ordered Paul called me and kind of gave me some potential issues with the delivery what to expect I'll get into that in a second um, but 
So things were very clear. If I had any questions, he said no problem to call him, talk to him. Um, it was really great. Uh, and it only took a couple weeks. So I thought it was going to take longer. Um, the delivery. Um, make sure you have the space. Uh, the pallets will come on a truck. Depending on, I think it's four pallets for a regular, just a regular fireplace. I had eight pallets because I had both fireboxes as well. But you need to have a spot for them to drop these pallets. The truck driver only has a pallet jack, so he can't move around lots of spaces, and they're not going to want to. <laughs> they just because these pallets are heavy, like 2,000 pounds of each, so they just want to drop them and go. So have a spot ready for them. Um, when you're going to move the stone. Um, have some help. Um, I used a hand truck from a buddy of mine, but they have them, you can rent them at Lowe's. You want hand trucks with the big pneumatic tires, so big air tires. Um, that worked really well. Wheelbarrow would work really well, um, but have some help too. I did half of it myself, and then luckily my neighbor showed up and came and offered his services for half. Beer is cheap. Invite your friends over, buy them some beer, and y'all carry some stones. Um, you do want to start on a good level footing. Um, I was lucky. I have pavers. There's plenty of rock under the pavers. I called Roman Stone and said, hey, I've got pavers. Can I build on the pavers? And they said, absolutely, as long as you've got six inches of stone underneath. So that was good. Um, you will get extra blocks with your order. I think I've got, one, two, looking at them now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 20, 30 extra blocks. So plenty of extra blocks. A hint, be strategic when you're moving the block. Um, as you're moving the block, when you find blocks that are chipped or extra chipped or a big corner knocked off, the, off of them, put them to the side, put them in a pile. The first, several, the first level of the fireplace has 14 blocks that are totally hidden you can't see from anywhere. So I was able to use those massively damaged blocks in the first levels of each, the wood box and the fireplace. So I was able to put those there and then use, use, um, use those blocks. Kind of segregate uh, the chip blocks and use them. Be strategic of how you place blocks and save your good blocks for the front. Um, place maybe your not so great ones on the back. So back to the first level, take care as they say in the instructions, to make sure the first level is very square and very level. If you have discrepancies here, they will just magnify themselves as you work up the fireplace. Um, use your square and level as you go up. Build a level really square and level each level. Um, I rated my kids change jars, so if you've got a penny jar, or you're going to need shims along the way. As you stack these blocks, with, as the edges are knocked off, they will sag, they will tilt, um, and you'll need some shims to keep them straight. Take your time, make sure the blocks are level all the way across each level, like the, the faces of each level. Check with your level to make sure the blocks are level all the way across. I made the mistake on the first few levels and just put my four foot level on the outsides, didn't really, just looked at the, at the bubble, saw that the whole thing was level, and then a couple rows up, noticed I was getting a little bit of a sag, so I had to go back and, and shim. So just check with your torpedo level, check the blocks. Another hint, I would say at max build four courses and then take a break and let those set because the glue will hold, but they do move around. And as you're level, leveling and moving and squaring, um, you'll move the, the level below. So actually, as I got up higher, I would do two levels and then take about an hour and a half break. Um, the glue is good and set in about an hour to an hour and a half, but that really helped. Um, Tommy, for the whole project, I would say plan two weekends in the, and a week in the middle. Um, do a lot of work on the first weekend, do some work, over the week and then finish it on the second weekend. I feel like it's good to do a couple hours, go away, let things set, come back, you're more focused. Um, you try to throw it all together, it gets monotonous and it gets old and you don't, you aren't as careful. Um, so take your time, uh, do a couple levels, go do something else, let it set and come back. Um, yeah, the fight, it's gonna be around for a long time. So if it takes a few extra days to build, so what? Let's do it right. Um, 
I may had a little bit of a I had to trim a couple of my fire brick. Uh, the fire brick along the back wall is a constrained dimension. Um, as you saw in the video, I built to about here and then got a call to go play golf. So I went and played golf. When I got back, the next step was going to be fire brick. So when I got back, all this had set. And when I went to put the fire brick in, I was about a quarter inch. My space was too small, which is no big deal. Brick. Uh, blades for your circular saw or whatever are cheap. Uh, I think I got mine for like four bucks for my 12 inch compound miter saw. Um, put it on there and cut them, no big deal. Uh, but just be aware of that. Another hint, if you have fire boxes, build your chimney up until where you can reach pretty easily, then build the fire boxes. Because you can stand on the fire boxes as you saw me do and build the rest of the chimney, uh, which makes it a lot easier than having to have three ladders or move a ladder around. It just gives a nice stable, nice stable place to work. Um, and then make sure your last course, the top course, is perfectly level. I spent a lot of time, you can see in the video, making sure that course was perfectly level because um, the, the stilt stones, the trim stones, will just pronounce any slant you have in those, those top blocks. So make sure those are really level. Um, have some help on hand to fit the wood box covers. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get that on video, the wood box and the chimney cap, because I had friends come over and I didn't want to take the time to set up the camera. They kind of came over at the last minute. Um, but there two, it took two of us to put the wood box tops on and then three of us to put the chimney cap. We had three ladders and just took our time, but have some help. So what went well? I think pretty much everything went well. I didn't really have difficulty in any process, and I would not call myself a stonemason or a brick mason at all. Um, I might be a little anal with keeping things really square and level and taking my time on doing that, but um, everything pretty much went well. The only hiccup I had was the fire block, and that really wasn't much of a hiccup. And you can see in the video, I started it, then finished the project, and then came back and finish the, uh, or finish the fireplace and then came back and finished the fire brick. What would I do differently? One thing, I would pay more attention throughout the build on each block. Like I said, I was using my four foot level and checking the whole side, and I'd pay more attention to each block, level in each way. Um, a little hint on shimming as well. Remember, um, when you shim something and the block is sitting on a coin, if you put adhesive around there, it's not gonna adhere to the block because there's a big gap. So what I was doing is I'd have my, my coin down, take my uh, glue, caulk gun with the glue in it, take a little glue out, hit the coin, it would stick, flip it over. So now I'd have glue on the bottom of the coin, stick the coin to the bottom level, put some more glue on the top of the coin. So now I've got the coin glued to the bottom level and the coin glued to the top level. So now I've got a good firm place for the block to stick. And then also it keeps it so you can't see through the gap. You can't see the coin because now it's got glue in front of it. So I wouldn't just put a bunch of coins in there and then throw a block on top of it and slap some glue in because you might not get any glue actually gluing the blocks together. Um, so glue at your coins. So final thoughts. Um, to me, it was a great decision. Um, I spent about 25 hours on it. So it's five hours to move the blocks, 20 hours build time. Um, I feel it. I saved $5,000 minimum. So it comes out to about 200 bucks an hour, which is, I, I'm okay to work for $200 an hour. So that worked out pretty well. I'm a big value for money guy. So to me, this is great value for the money I put into it. So what I said at the beginning, the whole thing was $47.75. I had to buy two more tubes of sealer. Um, so they're five bucks a piece. So $47.85 total. I had to buy the blade, another five. $47.90. $47.90 total in this project. Um, there are no hidden costs, there's no shipping costs, no hidden taxes or anything. The price that they give you is the price that you pay out the door thing built. Um, so I hope that helps. I would have loved to have something like this to kind of show the steps. Um, I couldn't find anything out there on YouTube, so I thought I'd try to do this. So hopefully this was helpful. 
Um, if you have any thoughts or questions, leave them in the comments. Um, I'll answer any questions as best I can, and I'll get answers for you if I, if I don't know the answers. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions on how things are going, we've had it for a couple weeks. Um, I have noticed in a couple of the bigger holes where I, in the chimney where a lot of the corners are knocked off, a couple of the bigger holes I get some smoke through from time to time. Um, I've actually talked to Roman Stone about that, and I may, um, you can get a little cement mix, mixture. The bag of cement costs like eight bucks. Um, mix it up, and then you just kind of go in those holes in the middle, um, in, the, in the chimney, and plug up some of the bigger holes. Um, so I may end up doing that, but I may not. Um, otherwise, it's been great. It pulls a great draft. It, um, the wood burns down to nothing. I've never pulled anything but ashes out of here after a fire. Um, so yeah, it pulls a really good draft. Um, makes a really great fire. Um, everybody's loved it. So, if you like this, hit the like. Um, if, like I said, if you have questions, comments, whatever, leave them. Um, and thanks. It was fun.